Hey guys, so welcome to part two of my honeymoon vlog and this is where we are in Hollywood and checking out Universal Studios which was super awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy part two and I think I'll just have one more part which is when we went to like the San Diego Zoo and the beaches and stuff and that'll be uploaded probably within a week or so just so I can get those all out and I also want to say happy Veterans Day and thank you to all of the veterans out there who are serving now or have served or lost their lives serving I want to say thank you so much for fighting for my freedom I also want to give a big special shout out to my husband who is an army veteran I wish that he wasn't at work right now but he is that sucks that he has to work on Veterans Day and he's a veteran but he you know it's just another day so thank you guys thanks all the veterans and thank you guys my viewers for watching this all right guys it is Monday morning and we stayed overnight in Fireball California at the Apricot Inn and we're on our way to San Diego. It's about five, five and a half hours out. Oh, Bakersfield, that's where Chelsea Chandler grew up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's literally nothing out here. This is a desert and I've never been around California. I've only been to Anaheim. And I did not. Flying, so you didn't yeah, drive. I flew in, so I did not like when I picture California. I pictured cities everywhere and like you know just a lot going on. And yeah, that may be true for like the cities of California, but out here there's nothing. There is nothing, and it surprises me it, honestly. Like, and it's weird not having my mountains to surround me. Like it's just open. It just feels exposed. But I'm really excited to get down to San Diego, and then tomorrow is Harry Potter World, and I'm so excited! <laughs> so yeah, we got a little bit of a trip today, and see you guys at the condos, or if anything exciting happens. But like for now, there's like really nothing, I mean I can show you, like, there... It's all ag and desert. There's nothing. <laughs> so, bye! I checked the weather, it was supposed to be nice, but looks like we brought the Washington weather with us. So yeah, this place is pretty nice, the lobby's awesome, and if you do this like, because we're guests, we're not owners, so if you do this like little presentation thing, you get free tickets to the San Diego Zoo, which was something we wanted to do anyway, so everybody's looking at me because I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> so here's where we're staying, we have this little cleaning closet in here that goes to the bathroom, got a closet right here. A little table for eating. Full kitchen. We have 
the living room area. This room is cheaper because it doesn't have a view at all. There's a little deck. Oh my god. <laughs> it would be like me to run into the door. Some DVD player. An iPod player. Here's the bedroom. No view. What's up, guys? And then the bathroom. It smells like poop right now. Oh. Okay, guys, so we got all checked in, and I am on lack of sleep right now. And we are Benny Hana's, which is a sushi restaurant. So we're here right now eating. It looks really nice in here. I'm super excited. I love my sushi. I ordered this apple Fuji apple punch bowl. It's $32, but it's cute. So Doug and I are gonna share it. And then I'm going to get the, uh, what is that? The, uh, hang on. I still need to catch up on sleep. The shrimp lover's roll. Crab, avocado, shrimp, tempura, shrimp, and cucumber. Sounds good. We need to ask if they do soy wrap because I don't like seaweed. But yeah, my face is healing nicely. I decided not to put makeup on since we're only gonna be having dinner and then going back to the room. Probably gonna watch a movie because I have no energy now. Oh my God, you guys, we got our drink. Look at that. Um, are you you're ready? Yeah, that what? Yeah. We got onion soup for an Alright guys, today is day one of Universal Studios, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'm so excited. So we're down in San Diego, so we have to drive up to LA. It's about two hours, and we're going to stay at the Hilton in the Universal City. And well, first we're going to go to IHOP for breakfast because there's no IHOP where I live, and I love IHOP. So, But this is like the check-in area for the World Mark. Shout out to Clyde. Thank you so much for letting us stay here. I'm waiting for Doug to come out of the parking garage which is taking an abnormally long time and I just like people are everywhere watching me talk to myself so that's cool but yeah so excited I can't even wait for a wand to choose me and to be sorted into the house that I better be sorting into Gryffindor or all of my hopes and dreams will be crushed
standard king room at the Hilton. There's our bathroom, guys, and a closet. Little ottoman TV, couch, and desk, and bed area, connecting room. It's hot as fuck in California. Here's our sort of view from the 23rd floor. It's really freaking high up. I don't like it. <laughs> you can see skyscrapers in the distance. That's pretty cool. And there's Universal Studios. And there's the Hogwarts Tower. Oh my. God, I can see it from my room. We gotta go there. There's one of those right there. Where? There's studios. One of those studios. See the WB oh, out there? Warner Brothers Studios out there. Yeah. That's so cool. <sighs>
the day one in Hollywood Universal Studios. Woo -hoo. We just did the city walk, which you guys just saw. So we're gonna walk right over here to the Hilton. I don't know. We, we might drive out to Hollywood tonight. We'll, we'll see. Maybe. maybe. Maybe we'll just Netflix. Yeah. I still have days of sleep to catch on because of my face. Which is healing nicely. Yeah, it's doing a lot better. We had dinner at Buco. I didn't really film that. I was so excited for Buco de Beppo. And the nighttime view. There's the city walk where we were just at. Not too bright. I thought like for sure this is gonna have a lot of lights, but that's a good thing though. Mm -hmm. There's the main vein of traffic. That's the 101 right there. Oh, can't see the Hogwarts castle. Why does it look so red, my face? Why does my face look so red? It was healing. I kind of scratched it. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't scratch it, but I scrubbed it. Right, that'll make it red. Today, just because I feel like I need to scrub it. Anyways, hi guys. We are back in the room. So I've decided that we are going to stay in the room. I'm tired of walking everywhere, and I still have like six days of sleep to catch up on. So, we are back in the room. We're going to Netflix and chill. Oh, are you naked? Oh. Almost. No. <laughs> and um, I wanted to show you guys my wand that I got from Ollivander's, like, bougie packaging and the bag that it came in, too. Um, I got Hazel. So, I have to go online, I think, to figure out... Oh, hi. To figure out what the um, core is. It's either Phoenix, Feather... Uh, unicorn or dragon heartstring. Unicorn hair. The hair right next to his testicles. <laughs> That's the most magical, potent testicle hair. It's my husband. Or... <laughs> like, I want to itch my face still. Oh. Um, so, yeah, I want to show you guys this. I guess I should have figured out more about it before I started filming, but hang on. Let me show you. So, here it is. This is my wand. It is a hazel. Um, like I said, I should have figured out. But you see this, it doesn't light up, but it has this little remote thingy on the end because it's an interactive wand and throughout the Harry Potter exhibit at Universal Studios, you can do um, certain little spells on places and make things move and stuff. And you have to like flick the wand actually how like the spell is supposed to be like Wingardium Mos Leviosa swish and flick you have to like move it right to get the spell right and so I think that's really cool but I really like the handle on it I don't know you guys I'm nerding out so I really like this handle on it it's just a nice thin wand that's how I like it what are you doing I was gonna pick your nose with this but <laughs> um, so yeah it's a really nice one it comes in this really nice box and then that little paper in there is like a list of the spells that you can cast with it and uh, where to cast them so let's hope there's no earthquake tonight because we're on the 23rd floor of the Hilton in Universal City and we probably die like literally I've been having a good time but I've been worried about an earthquake or like a tsunami or hurricane or whatever the whole time because San Andreas Fault movie ruined California for me but tomorrow we're doing day two of Universal and then we're probably just gonna go to Hollywood and check out like the Hollywood sign and the Walk of Fame the stars and then head back down to San Diego and then the next day we will be hopefully going to the zoo if we sit through this two hour presentation at Worldmark, we get free tickets to the zoo, so. And my vape is off. You don't know how many times I do that. I go to vape my vape, <laughs> and it's off. Especially when I'm filming. Ooh. <laughs> Better not set off the fire alarms. And I don't vape in my room a lot. Like, that's literally probably the only time I'm going to vape in here. Because <laughs> I just... 
I don't want to risk it. You know, I mean, it doesn't stink, but I've set off my fire alarms at home doing it, doing flavor testing videos. But there was really baby. Yeah, don't be doing that here. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't getting up for nothing. What do you mean? Because fire alarms going off, I'm not getting up. If the fire alarms went off, we'd get in trouble. We? You got a mouse in your pocket? <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, it's day two of Universal, and we just checked out of the Hilton because after this, we're gonna leave Hollywood and <coughs> LA. Um, we're gonna go back to Harry Potter World so I can do some more stuff and buy some more Harry Potter things, and then do the lower lot, which we totally forgot in Universal. And then when we're done, we're gonna go. Probably look at the Walk of Fame and the Hollywood sign and head down to San Diego. So, day two, Universal Studios. I'm excited. I'm gonna do some spells in Harry Potter Land with my interactive wand. I'm hungry though. We need to find somewhere to eat. We missed um, the continental breakfast because I am not a morning person, and since I've been catching up on sleep, I'm super not a morning person, and I should have brought my sunglasses. Holy cow. All right, later. So we're here in the park and we decided we're gonna skip breakfast. We're gonna go to Krusty's and have a Krusty Burger from Simpsons because I love the Simpsons. And, and right now I'm in Starbucks and the line is so long, like the wait. So it's gonna be a while till I get my chai, but it's worth it. You guys, we're upstairs at Krusty Burger with Simpsons right on the TV. We are sitting in front of the comic book store from the Simpsons, Androids, and we just went to Lard Lad Donuts. Look at this thing. Oh, wait, why can't I open it? Oh my god, it's you. Yum. From obtaining it, he has already fused his own spark with that of Dark Energon. And if he were to obtain the All Spark, there's no telling the treachery he would commit on this planet and throughout the galaxy. Therefore, an alliance between the humans and the I did it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, Universal Studios Day 2 is over. We are on our way to Hollywood to check out the Walk of Fame. My face is healing very nicely. <laughs> and um, also see whatever else people see when they go to Hollywood. I didn't quite know.
yard and walked it a bit and um, I have decided that it is terrifying and it is aggressive and dirty and smelly and I don't ever want to come back here. People are hustling, literally like, oh here, free gift, let me sign it, like a CD. And then he hands it to us and oh, five dollars or whatever. Yeah. Like, okay, so I thought you said it was a gift, like so freaking weird. So many people, so many homeless, so many homeless people, and I have nothing against homeless people, but it kills me inside to just walk past people like they don't exist, and it just, it makes me feel bad, and some crazy lady tried to slap Doug in the face when we were walking by. We were just walking by, looking at the Hollywood stars, because that's why I wanted to go on Hollywood Boulevard, I wanted to see the Walk of Fame, or whatever they call it, and I never, <sighs> ever, ever want to come back to this area it's terrifying it's not for me there was just no just so many weird people the people that were dressed up were cool like that was cool seeing a Michael Jackson impersonator and seeing a Johnny Depp Jack Sparrow impersonator so we're walking and a Catwoman impersonator and a Zorro impersonator were like oh take a picture with us okay so cool we do and then they ask for money when we're done taking pictures and I understand that like a tip you know tip money but I, I didn't know that and I didn't ask for the photo so like I'm I can't believe this place this is not what I was expecting and it was funny too because the Zorro knew it was our first time here yeah, it's because we didn't have any cash. We didn't know people usually tip the impersonators, but we didn't ask for the pictures. And honestly, I'm not a Catwoman fan. I mean, yeah, cool. I love Catwoman. Not a big fan. Absolutely not a Zorro fan. So, <laughs> you know. I, well, I did give him a tip. I told him not to play Leapfrog with uniforms. That's about all I could do for him. So we're out. I want a Starbucks and eventually something to eat. We're going back down to San Diego where it is nice and <laughs> not fucking Hollywood. Oh my God, is not what I expected at all. I did want to see the sign better, but yeah. yeah it is right there. Really? It's right over here to the left. Well, you, can see it. you guys, um, anybody who lives in Hollywood can care to explain. Doug was all like, before we got here, he was like, oh, it's Holly weird. And I'm like, Just don't say that. Like, it's Hollywood, it's gonna be so cool so awesome no it's fucking holly fucking weird oh my god i can't i can't i just i don't even know my feet hurt we've been walking for days and yeah so we'll see you guys back down in san diego probably zoo tomorrow all right guys we are back in san diego oh my god i'm, I'm, I'm like lounging in my seat but you can't even see me we're back oh, all the way the other way in San Diego and we are like really just on the other side of the highway from our condo so we saw Outback Steakhouse and I've never been to Outback Steakhouse but I've seen their commercials for the Bloom and Onion I think that's here and if it is I'm so excited because it looks really good I'm gonna have to tame this crazy hair though Ugh. I'm exhausted <laughs> from the trip the traffic was insane and people were in the carpool lane who weren't even having two people in their car I was like oh you bitches so we are not finding parking <laughs> we're gonna <coughs> go eat here and then zip across the street to a condo and maybe carve a pumpkin and then yeah that was mm -hmm. like a kind of me asking I, a question <laughs> I, I, did, I, had not. I can't hear you your brains rattle <laughs> but uh yeah so made it back down to san diego we're going to do the zoo tomorrow, but I think I've said that like six times, so I'll show you what I get now back. Oh my god, so update, we finally found the literal last parking spot in the parking lot that wasn't a handicap space, and it is the farthest parking space from Outback, so let's just walk a mile to the restaurant. <laughs> Guys, we got the bloomin' onion, I'm dying. Look at it. Oh my god. Oh, fuck me up. It looks so good. Okay, guys. We just got out of the Outback. I had the barbecue mix grill, which is uh, barbecue chicken 
pork ribs and coconut shrimp, but I substituted the coconut shrimp for just regular grilled lemon herb shrimp. And now we're walking into Target because it's literally right across the street. What? <laughs> and um, getting some drinks for Doug because he likes to drink sugar instead of water. So I'm going to get off my phone because we're in the store. Okay guys, we are finally back at the condo in San Diego and look what what I got a sunburn. How how did this even happen? And I think that ha had happened in the car because it's not on this side. Anyways, we have decided to just relax again. <laughs> and I got souvenirs. I got one, well, just little things. This is for my stepdad, Bart. It's a um, Hollywood California Universal Studios keychain bottle opener. And this one's for my mom. It's a Universal Studios keychain. And it's just the globe. See, like when I pick out souvenirs, I like to pick out souvenirs that say where you're at. I don't know why, that's just my thing. Like Doug got his brother a Jurassic Park keychain. It does? Yes. On the keychain? Oh cool. It does say universal. And then I got this for my sister-in-law, which is Doug's brother's wife, Whitney, because they hooked us up with the room at the Hilton as a surprise gift. And I think this is so cute. Like I should have got one for myself. It's a little soup mug and it comes with a little spoon that's removable and I just think it's so cute. I should have got one for myself. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little soup mug. So I got that for wit. And then I also got a little heart magnet for my grandma that says Universal Studios Hollywood and I think it's super cute. I almost got this for myself but then I was like, no, I don't need another one because I did buy a magnet for myself. Where is that? Oh, I don't want that. I got this while Doug was on the Jurassic Park ride because I'm a big pansy and I don't do roller coasters. I got this magnet. I love it. It says greetings from Universal Studios Hollywood. Again, I like my magnet souvenirs to say where we're from and so I thought this was really colorful and cute and I like it. Oh, yep. I also got a souvenir for my dad and stepmom Sarah. They love the Simpsons so much so when we were in Simpsons Springfield I got them the magnet set. You can see a theme like with my souvenirs. I like keychains and magnets. I am easy to please when it comes to souvenirs. I like shot glasses too, but like then I feel like I have to drink. I wanted to buy more. I wanted a robe, but they were $110. So, and I couldn't just, I couldn't for a robe that I would only wear on Halloween and that. And you know you'd wear more than that. Well, yeah, but, but still, not enough you, to spend $100 not on to it. Go, you want to go out in it. No, but I, I honestly can't. Get over this sunburn. <laughs> that is hilarious, and it's only on that side, because you could tell we were going down the coast, and I was on the sun side, obviously passenger. All right, guys. So, um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go Netflix. I was like, we're gonna go to bed, but no, we're actually gonna watch Netflix. Like, honestly, probably two episodes of Daredevil, the huge. All right. See you tomorrow for the zoo. Alright guys, so that was the end of part two for my honeymoon. Should begin with Doug and I in San Diego checking out the zoo. So stay tuned for that if you want to see the last bit of our honeymoon.